It's another die, it's another die, it's another die. I love when people call it exactly what it's casting time. It's like, no, message. You know what time it is. It's flummery time. Yes, indeed, it's flummery time. Everyone's favorite kind of flummery. Another die, another. Well, you see, this this is where you know. You Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that breaks my line of thought right there. But no, it, we're getting into the point here now. It's now week number five of the third round, going into week six, then week seven. That's it. Playoffs, gentlemen. So we're starting to see a pattern here developing with more and more teams as they proceed here. It's. Unless they really, really, really fucking need the win, they're easing up a little. They're, they're doing the safe play, as it were. Now, is that totally wrong? Well, some would argue yes, but then again, this isn't fucking Leeds now, is it? No, it, it, in this case here, the teams actually want to have, and let's be honest here, a, a, an intact team, or at least relatively intact, by the time they get to the fucking playoffs. Because unless you're getting a guaranteed first round bye... Yeah, you kind of still want to have a fucking team by the time you get there. We've seen that happen, where a perfectly great team goes all out, busts themselves up, and then that's it, they're out first round, because they're too broken up. Yeah, how indeed, exactly. Alright, here we go, solid kick down the field here. Lizards are going to go and get the ball. Oh, yeah. Because luggage... Did we have this whole review when we talked about it? It's like, the luggage was definitely one of the key teams that look like he was going to go all the way and then he's had a couple of really rough games there very rough games indeed so now at this point here the luggage have eased up a little bit here because they like to win but they like to still have a fucking firm by the time they get there and they did take quite a few critical losses along the way Britannians well beatings lots and lots Again. of beatings it is the legend Oh yeah, you can tell you're welcome here. <laughs> boo. <laughs> boo, I say, boo. Oh, where were you for a few games that were desperately needed by some people, apparently? Yeah, boo, boo, sir, boo, boo, boo. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, no, no one likes the failed GFIs, exactly. Like I said, the luggage have been now on a... Getting the ways back up there so they can actually qualify, but qualify and still have a pretty solid firm getting there. He's doing a pretty good job of it. Bretonians. Literally the same answer. He's also had to, like, like there's always the peons, no one fucking cares. He can lose those all day as long as he has some of them left over. It's the key players here. It, 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 it's the blockers, it's the blitzers. He needs them to stay fucking alive. He needs these to win games. Now, if they keep dying or getting permanently crippled, well, then it's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Wow. Said everyone ever. So, yeah, column A, column B. And, and like I said, you're starting to see that evolution in everyone's play style here in the two normal divisions, trying to get to the playoffs here. Either they're in it or they're out of it. And if they think they're pretty much in it at this point here, did you get them? Yes! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, Ed's decided he's going to make it stop by immediately ejecting the poor bastard. Easy trade-off, you 100% take it. And if you're the luggage, is it a badly hurt? Yes, you take it. You don't waste the apothecary turn one. Because we've seen how deadly, well, in certain divisions, this season's really becoming. Because the exception, of course, is going to always be Illigan Division. Illigan Division, at this point here, you've got nothing to fucking lose in every game you play. Nothing to lose. Yeah, might as well go out every fucking game. Because that's the only way you might actually make it all the way. You're going to be hurt. So what? As long as you make it. You're probably the one team that can most likely succeed doing that, of all things, is the Ogres. Ugh. 
And yeah, as you know, they qualified. Eventually, we're going to have the fourth game there, the first round. Find out how crazy that went. Luggage. Right now, they dominate. Like, they've just lost to Saurus. Do we have any reserves? Well, they have a skink. They're still in good shape, though. It's badly hurt. They're fine. Like, really, at this point here, they're fine. As long as they win is their figuring, but they don't have to push it too hard. They think they're doing okay? Maybe? And get off my lawn! Uh, of course, we can all just wish that. Meanwhile, for Turbians, of course, the beatings will continue. The morale improves. The advantage of the nobles is all the fucking dollars. And yes, we've heard the discussions that maybe, maybe Bretonians are coming back for BB2020. That's now another heated discussion that's going out there because Old World re-released, and guess what the main faction is? You got it, Bretonians, along with Tomb Kings, aka Kemri. Who I do a release anyway for an updated BB, a B, a B, a B, a that's all folks, 2020. Yeah, everyone's thinking Chaucer have been left behind again. Oh my god. Why has he got strength increase? He's a peasant! Oh my god. A peasant with a strength increase, ladies and gentlemen. Do you call that bloat? Only the new NAF president has his way. He's Spanish. The problem is, the instant he gets any crazy idea, the rest of the Euros are going to completely scream him down. No, I'm not. I'm serious. I know what that crew's like. You've met some of them, you know? He, if he comes up with any crazy idea, they're going to fucking shout him down. So, yes, he's got proposals. Yes, he won, because face it, the North American vote was split between the Canadian and the American. Easy peasy, you know, even if they were the more rational. And the Euros almost unanimously are gonna vote for the Spaniard. I know, he wasn't too crazy, was he there? Now I, I asked him if he, he would continue the, the the wrongful discrimination against the hardest working man in Bloodbow. And he said no, he would actually let off and fuck Griff. Good answer. Yeah, absolutely good answer. But we all knew the Spaniard was probably gonna win. The fact it was close was amazing. Speaking of Oh, come on, it's not so ooh. Ask my sister, it's not ooh enough there. You don't have dwarves to have ooh. Alright. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Is that it? I have no idea what this fucking meme is, anyway. But I don't follow those fucking things, I really don't. Yeah, ooh, ooh, that's not a thing! Don't think you'll ever be unless I ask my sister, then she'll introduce it. Why are we picking on a skink? That sounds like a terrible idea. How do I do it? Well, then again, he doesn't have kick and he doesn't have sides to it. Of course, then again, the fact he's got kick, that's a general. You realize that's a general skill, right? No, I'm serious. He's got fucking kick. That's a general skill. Why doesn't he have launch? Hmm? Okay. Seriously, it's like, I'm kind of wondering yeah. why did he get that? Really? Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! But don't worry, Ed's gonna resolve that for you. That's the second fucking injection. I, I get it, T-squared, I get it. But Ed! Yeah, Ed's definitely got his eye on you. Remember that used to be a thing? It used to be the rule was, I've got my eye on you. That was what happened when you were fouling away, and that meant it was a 50% chance you were caught on the next foul. However, if your eye was... The other person can foul with impunity. Well, that's how it used to work. Then again, they used to be... Remember when you also... The, you could have the referee as a character on the pitch, and then you had what was known as sneaky foul and blatant foul. This is going back a bit, isn't it? You know? Will we go back to those? I don't know. I, I seriously don't at this point. Really? We're scoring? That's a thing? All right, it's a thing. Bravo! Bravo!
Yeah, welcome back. Well, we'll see how bad it sucks today. Yeah, thank you for 20 months there, keeping the marathon going. Indeed, we are keeping the marathon going. As you can see there, new spot, new thing there. Yeah, we're getting dice sent out to a few extra teams that, you know, playing in a certain location. Them trying to get dice, bloody murder. But we're gonna, we, we've got a source. Who knows, maybe we'll make a couple of options here. Uh, anyway. Bretonians, as you can see, he, he's doing the job. He's fouling. The dirty player did get a Saurus. But now he's eating two ejections here. So suddenly he has something he wasn't expected to be. He's short players. Don't worry, the luggage is down to 11 players too. As it is that doing Oh, Really? Here he is, the biggest douche of the universe. In all the galaxies, there's no bigger douche than you. You've reached the top, the pinnacle of douche dumb. Good going, douche. Your dreams have come true. Did they really just miss the Bretonians completely? Yeah, he missed the Bre pitch invasion. Let's take a look at the fan factor here. Yeah, the Bretonians do merely have a plus one, but they got missed completely. It's still a D6. But yeah, one, two, three. To be honest here, the Bretonians better score at this point here because they've got an enormous player advantage for at least a turn. They might as well make use of it here. All right, here we go. Easy peasy. Alex squeezy. He's got the calico. Now throw the ball. This is easy. We're going to hand it off. Really? All right. God, that works so fucking well. Brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, he's so fucking excited. Feel those nipples. Sit down! Yeah, well, I am. Yep. You saw that catch never fails. Double two, sir. Yep, dropped his balls. So it's only the Bretonians are, well, they return late. They have all these other players that wanted to move. Well, they haven't moved, apparently. Yeah, catch never fucking fails. For the luggage, it's a free turn. It, it really is. Like, the ball moved up here, and if they feel cocky... Well, again, they have to feel cocky. They're not really feeling cocky right now. Winning, they're okay with. Cocky, well, as discussed before, they'd like to have a team left by the time they get all the way. Oh, there we go. Blodge means nothing. There we go. Crap. <laughs> Wang! <laughs> Large sidestep, no skills, wang injury on a no skill, brand new skink. Mwah. Oh, T-Squared's going to be enraged on that one. Because, like I said, he's trying to keep his team intact. He'd love to apothecary that. Turn five, he can't afford to. Why? It's a badly hurt. He has to just suck up, suck up the balls. Or something. He's sucking something. All right. Ask my sister. She'll suck anything for a quid. All right. Moving along here. For tell you, it's moving forward. See? There you go. He's predicted it perfectly. This does suck if you're T-squid. It does. The game was starting so well. Yes, he got ejected. He took out a Saurus very early in the game. With a lot of skills. And now it's just going all downhill. Well, the Bretonians, in theory, should still score this drive because, face it, the luggage is completely out of position. And unless the skinks are really to, willing to suck some face here, well, he's got an apothecary. But then again, so is T-Squid. Both teams are holding the apothecary for exactly that point I've been making since the beginning here. Since we're getting this close to the big playoffs, teams are starting to play cautious. They don't want to risk as much because they're all getting afraid that they're going to lose perfect good players before the playoffs. Might not even be wrong on that. Keywords might... Where the fuck are you? No, 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 no. Well, now you move. God, you're in the wrong square, son. You, you are totally the wrong square. But anyway, there we go. Did he get him? No. Sort of. Decimated. Sort of in him. Kind of. A little bit. Smelt him in twain. I, mean, I never understood that joke. Anyway. Well, here we go. Casual blitz going for the skink with the frenzy and the dodge. 
Why are you not know You've got money, Blow! Note You've the got huge breasted typist in the background. Really? Oh. I'm touching myself tonight. You mean I have to chug that bottle? God, alright, fine! It's right here, I'm ready to go! As soon as there's a touchdown, I'll chug the fucking thing, alright, Panda? Does that mean you're requesting the mandatory double edit? It's allowed! It's in the rules! It's contractual obligation, right? It is an obligation, I think. I don't know. You all tell me! Alright, you're you're the ones all there throwing the beer cans at the booth. I can hear it! Fortunately, they're mostly empty. But anyway. Turn seven for the skanks here and the luggage. The luggage, like I said, pitch invasion really messed them up. And there was much rejoicing. Yeah, at 25 months. Yeah, he forgot he hadn't subscribed. Heads money over hasn't subscribed. Go figure. <laughs> Details! Don't bother me with them. Oh, God. Is this the no skill? Oh, this is the one that actually has skills. Yes! Or AT Square is having a frustrating game. In theory, it's working the way he wants, but then every time... He keeps hitting injuries or ejections he's just, he's not ready for. And he can't do anything about it because he'd like to have an attack team, so he can't risk anything. Like, I get it. He's this close. It is a really weird, weird playoff structure right now with this team. And now look. Strength 5 finally got block. Yeah, he finally got it. His strength 5 finally got block. Time for a true display of skill. Ah, <sighs> in Stunty we don't trust, do we? Yeah, thank you! Yeah, I don't know, the crowd's still going wild on that one there. Alright! So, Panda, which game do you want to cast? Did you get a game in there, or is there other games I've got to go looking at? I know Vort would like me to look at his game, apparently it was a fucking disaster. Here go, everyone's going to want to see it. At least that's what they say anyway there. Oh, now, Hooligan Division did its its fourth game, so that one's there. You have Booth's Choice. I don't know. We should take a look at the other divisions. Hey, everybody! We're all gonna get late! Uh, we fucked this up! I mean, I'm fisting him to death. I'm sorry. That's it. Oh, uh, 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 the dice. Yeah, whoopsie! Yeah, that's it. I'm hitting tequila. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> I hadn't had that in a little bit. All right. <laughs> it might be! He might be getting surfed, or that he doesn't have anyone in position. He needed a skink right there! Or he could have risked the GFI, but he doesn't want to get surfed himself. So you, you can see the problem. Bye bye! Remember we were talking about we thought this was almost a guaranteed Bretonian touchdown? We thought it was? The Pretorians are now doing an awful lot of work trying to score this thing. A lot of fucking work trying to score this thing. Kudos, you gotta get to the luggage. Luggage got pitch invasion, had about a third of the team knocked over. They think they've given up? Nope. They, they're ma they, they are choking this with bodies trying to get in. Basically, he's demonstrating why he belongs in the playoffs. He really is. Two red dice up here, and he gets it! There it is, the power of... Leap. That was strangely arousing. <laughs> it is the legend. Yeah, it's the legend, all right. It's the fucking legend, all right. Didn't even get into the end zone. He tried. He tried. All that effort for nothing. Yeah. It's 1 0 for the luggage. Half time, of course, brought to my favorite Maelstrom gaming mats, of course. Find his custom Blood Bowl pitches, dice, trophies you've ever did see. Check out his website, Maelstrom Gaming Mats. So I guess I have to wait to chug that? Do I? Yeah, that's the rules, right? Someone's going to score a touchdown, then I'm allowed to? Yeah. Bright side is it's Jameson, alright? That's the bright side. Look at you getting all the good rerolls here. Fatality. Perfect defense. Ah, that's actually pretty fucking good. It's not a bad kick either. It's not a bad kick at all here. However, in this part... I don't know. Would you, would you, uh, we've been having that whole conversation since the beginning here. It's like some teams are starting to play more and more conservative. 
as we get closer to the playoffs and they don't want to lose key players. Why is all your good high speed Bill Bexley speed players all on the back end when the ball's right here? This is easy to retrieve. It really is. I, it, it, it. The reality is from my play style, I don't get it. it. Makes zero sense to me. From the league sense, I see his bizarre twisted logic. He wants these bastards to survive. All right. You know, skinks are cheap, right? Right? Fuck. All right. Okay. The bright side is all the dirty... Like, all the dirty players are gone. They're all ejected. There's no spare extra player. How the Bretonians are down a player right now? No, I'm serious. The Bretonians are down to 10 players. The luggage actually have numerical superiority. 11 on 10. So I ask again, why are you hiding in the back? Like, really? Why? Why? And again, his answer's gonna be, I'm protecting my players, sir. Okay. And here's the disturbing part. It's partially right. Yeah, yes, according to other, other coaches who are all wrong, he's right. You know, according to the booth, partially right. <laughs> because, face it, you've got opportunities that you just, you're not taking advantage of. You're deliberately... How do we put it? You know, tying your legs together and just hopping. All right, instead of running. But, goes back to wants to preserve players for going into the playoffs. Okay, fine. And granted, he's winning 1-0. So, there is that. <laughs> it is. A, it's like even Vought would just be sitting there going, it's a hell of a discussion. Wolfhal going, wait, people get make the playoffs? Yeah, I know, Wolfhal. I've heard rumors it was a brutal game. It started off okay, and then you tried to do something which was a... AG4 never fails! And it failed miserably. That's all I've been told. Bye-bye! Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I hurt you. We can only fucking hope. We can only fucking hope. Yeah, hurricane death all over the place. So, now it's a two-player advantage for the luggage. Two players. They're doing fine. The luggage are doing just fine. Dodge this. And... Technically... Why didn't he... It's... <sighs> I, I swear, the luggage now and then, he, he shows absolute brilliance, and then he does something that mystifies. But his view is, he, A, he's winning, B, he's got a two-player advantage. He's viewing it, he's going to win later on in the in the second half. Well, especially when stuff like this is happening. <laughs> T-squared, like I said, it's not having a good game. It's just bad luck. Like, he's already down to one reroll. Juggles the ball, manages to make... He, he, he can't even do a cheese pleasure. He can't even make a fucking basic dodge! Really? Hasta la vista, baby! You saw that, didn't you? He has dodged! There's no tackle there! One and nine! Woo! There he goes! Someone tied his shoelaces together. And now the luggage. Well, they have the option, if they really want to, can contain this. And hell, you've got these lads. They move enough. You gotta get one? Well, you should... No, no. Dear opponent. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, if you want to blitz with him, sure. But frankly, I hate to say, this is where the rare ties you hear me go. It should be the big guy. This is the guy you should hit. But all right, fine, he hits. Doesn't get the takedown. Here comes the big guy, and why is he? You look like you could use a drink. Where's the blitz, son? This is not a joke! Where's the fucking blitz? Yeah, cheers. Him. <laughs> You're blitzing with him. <laughs> okay. You, you, you realize that just defeated why you moved the crux over, right? You, you, you do realize this. Oh dear. Holy dooly! He's dead! He's dead! He's a peasant who cares. <laughs> Did I mention T Squared's having a rough game? See what I mean? Now all he's gonna do is just turn the bupis, 
There's the kick, the punch, the bugger all. All right, where are you gonna go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and score. You can't stall this, lad. You really can't. Because face it, you're running out of players. Yeah, there we go, casual. Dodge it. Wait. Run, you puppet! Run, you stupid puppet! Oh, God. <sighs> Do I get to drink now? Thank you. Cheers! Like a waste of good whiskey, but anyway. <laughs> Whew. All right, so everyone's going dealer's choice. All right, well, there's, there's a few regular divisions game. I can save Hooligan Division playoff game for tomorrow. I can, I can save it for then. Because I don't think the next round's getting, at least the first game's not getting played till at least Wednesday. At least I think so. I have to go check on that. All right, luggage. Let's see what luggage has got for you. Luggage, of course, still has... Yep, that's the one early foul injury. As I said, the game started so well. Key word, started. Uh, all right. Well, at least they get a reroll. Yay. Yay. Kind of yay. Sort of yay. Any yay. What's he down by? Yep, he's down three players. Yep, the Bretonians came in with two reserves. They're already down eight players. Yeah, tacos, happy tacos. It's happy taco Tuesday tomorrow. <sighs> How do you fuck that up? Yep, sure hands. Moved none of the other players. Nothing. No movement whatsoever. And the Bretonians are all over this like a red-headed step trial on a candy bar. There they go. The beatings will continue. You really were cocky on that move, weren't you, son? Like I said, he, he, he can play. He'll show good, huge insights of brilliance, and then suddenly, woo! <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. It goes right off the reservation. It really does. It's like, what were you thinking? Now the Bretonians, quite frankly, are all over this thing. Because, one, it's now a 1-1 tie, but they've got possession of the fucking thing. Now all they need to do is, well, have a little luck. This is T-Square we're talking about. So yes, a little luck and a bit of faith. Provided there's anyone actually left. How quickly the tide turns. And then there were seven. Yes, indeed. Then there were fucking seven. Oh, yeah, faith, he says. Faith in what? You got to have faith. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's people would say, it depends what the dice array has to say about it. Uh, okay, I'll grant that one. Yeah, look, he says. Dice array more like it. Here we go. Is it dead, though? No. broke your stupid crap, moron. We're getting close to dead. Shake it off, lad! Shake it off! Yeah, that's the first time the luggage blew a GFI. Not like the Bretonians haven't been doing that all fucking day. Alright, here we go. Solid it. Can't break. Oh, but that's fine. All you need to do is free him up. Where's he go? You got it, Pontiac. Crashes the wall. Granted, he should be down here. But he figures he's got more than enough players floating around here and these two can circle in. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's a disaster, yeah, alright, but for you. Yep, the skink is down, but guess what he took out? Again! Yep, another injury. What the fuck is he feeding these skinks? <sighs> Mutant frogs. Well, you've only got one. No, no, where are you going? Oh god, you're going here. Alright, that's not the one you should be hitting, but fine. You need to hit the diving tackle. That's not a joke. You need to hit him. But, well, he hit this one. Okay. Run, you... And now look what you've done. Yep, you blocked the pathway. Next thing you know, you're going here rather than, well, anywhere else you should be going. All right. Uh, lad, uh, lad, you need to be here. 
You, 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 there you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. What are you going to use this for? No, no, no. One more square. One. Oh, my God. I do cocaine. Paxton! <laughs> You're doing it again. Again. It is the legend. Right. Blodge we trust. Said no one ever in this, in this league. Yep, there he goes. Two dice on Blodge. Misses the first try. Second try. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Bye bye. Well, we knew that was coming, didn't we? Yeah, it's... You can't fault these win. He tried everything he could. The reality is. I don't know. He, he, he kind of needed to be. I, I get what he's trying to do. He's he's trying to avoid potato. He's just. He's running out. He's honestly been running out of players. So, very little options left while the luggage is just slowly, methodically destroying the team. Now, granted, the luggage would like to win at this point sometime soon. So, they like to get this ball, please. Ball, please. Yep, exactly. All right, yep, yeah, you're seeing that right. Strength for peasant. Yep, there he goes. Turn up power. Hello, what have we here? A mutant. That's what we have here. All right, he runs all the way over here. Doesn't risk getting the ball yet. Remember, he's got a movement increase and spread. Yeah, that's a movement 12 skink. Gonna fucking love it. Movement 12. It's disgusting, I tell you. It's absolutely disgusting. All right, power leap. He made it this time. All right, where the where the fuck where the fuck are you going? Are you serious? That's where you're going? Fortune doesn't favor fools. Well, he's alive, I think. See what I mean? T Square could go for the win, but that would be, that would involve risking players. Think he's gonna risk any players right now? Nope. Then there were five, according to the count. Yeah, then there were five. Ding dong. Well, the luggage, it's a tie. The Bretonians would love this if it stayed a tie. Don't think that's happening. Clinch the butt cheeks. Yeah, and then there were four. Yep. Yeah, you're behind on your count there, lad. <laughs> you're definitely behind on your count here. All right, easy. Oh, yeah, the rookie. The rookie skate, who, as you can see... His rookie skinks have been dynamite. Yeah, we do subtraction goods in this tournament. Yeah, there we go. How about him? Yeah, he's got a casualty. Again, the skinks have been fucking dynamite. You look at the injuries in, you gotta realize the skinks account for most of it. Like, the odd KO, he's been the Sauruses, but the casualties have been the fucking skinks. And this is not by fouling. It's diabolic. It doesn't move him. Ooh. That's next step level pro, that is. My nipples explode with the leg. <laughs> Do the skink start the foul? Oh, absolutely, you should start the foul at this point. But, as you can see, the Bretonians are doing what they do best. Run away, run away, run away. No, seriously, they're just running away. More dust. More ashes. More disappointment. And here comes the luggage. Remember, this was the Bretonians' half, so... Them not scoring is hurt at this point here. So gradually, meticulously moving down the field here. Now, does he risk it? It's a dodge and a leap. He does have a reroll. He does still have the apothecary. In theory, yes, the Bretonians can stop this drive. Question is, will he try? Isn't that a weird... Normally, I would say you go for it. But, again, you're dealing with players that, at this point, want to have a team left. Well, they do. Ultimate fatality. And then there was... Yeah, you, you, you got it, Pontiac. I, th I think we're out of team, sir. Yep, he's down to three. Three. Oh, yeah, that's why. That's why. I need to hug a bunny. Right all right, so the Bretonians, 100% can do this. And he makes the dodge. Now he makes the... I said... Seriously? What's wrong with me? And now he makes the leap, but it's only one die. Guess what he rolls, son? Guess what? He fucking rolls. <laughs> you got him! And he's even got the ball! Now what? <laughs> Now, what the fuck am I doing with this ball? Help! Help! Be depressed! 
Yep, he's got the fucking ball. Block! 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 He's still blocking! He's still standing! Come on! Luggage can't believe it! Ah, they finally got him! They finally got him! Ball bounces free! Where is it going? It's a terrible bounce! All the risk! All the risk and he actually gets it! Oh my god. Alright, enough of that for a bit there. Alright, you just gotta enjoy it because that was a risk play. The hell away. And he got it. The power of skinks, the person who failed the basic play to stop that whole mess, comes through in the last turn, gets the ball, and scores. Two to one, the luggage win it there. And as for the Bretonians, the pain continues. Another death. Unfortunately, you know, yeah, they have to replace another peasant. They no sooner they buy one, they lose one. All right, that's game one. Panda says it's dealer's choice. All right, let me go take a look. Keep chugging some beers there. I'm taking a look what else I've got there. Yeah, I went and got more rock gut. A whole bottle of rock gut. I'm getting ready for it. Oh, my stomach's not looking forward to that. But hey, it's what the sacrifices we're making this channel is for you. Nuffle, bless your dice, and we'll be back shortly.